What's up, everybody? The most professional wrestler, Brian Myers, is here, and we're back on the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast YouTube channel. And I think we're going to make a little history here today because we are in my home away from home, Creator Pro Wrestling Academy in Hicksville, New York, here, the school that I co own and operate with Pat Buck, and the place where AEW superstars like MJF and Chris Statlander, and, uh, you know, I'm going to take credit for. Alex Reynolds and Johnny Silver because they cut their teeth here a little bit too as well. So this is where they all train and I think we're going to make a little history because this is going to be the first ever wrestling ring unboxing within a wrestling ring. That's an exclusive for everybody here. But uh, first, let's talk about the World Championship belt. Jazzwares, wicked cool toys has come out here. Authentic design, wear and display. Uh, obviously, there he is, Le Champion. This is made for a child, so it's a child size belt. I would hope the real one that Chris Jericho lost that one time is a lot bigger. I'm gonna let it breathe right here. Let's get eyes on this. Belts have kind of, uh, or championship titles for kids have really evolved over the years. You know, when I was a kid, these were foam. Now they're like made of this like faux leather, which I think is a way better route to go. A lot of, a lot of tape. Don't want to damage the belt itself. Got one strap free. Okay. Oh. And we are uh, a lot of stuff holding this down. We can get a shot of that. Okay. Uh, Another piece, see you pal. And this is last, okay, a little hook there, a little hook there and there. Sweet, this is very nice. Uh, you know, five pieces, it's got nice mobility, very well put together there. Here's your foam, uh, you know, to put the proper sizing. Look at that. This is about as close as the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast will ever get to this title because you know Broski's not winning it. Oh man, look at this. Pretty cool though. I mean, I think it pops, it's very pretty. And uh, I think if you're a little kid, you know, wrestling your buddy in the living room, you need this bad boy. Let's set that aside and get to the main event here. The Action Ring Unrivaled Collection. Flexible ropes, authentic AEW details. Le Champion, uh, I thought this was a little mishmash. Le Champion is jumping at Kenny Omega. I would have put Kenny Omega jumping at Le Champion, but or I put Le Champion upside down like he's doing the uh, lion salt, but whatever. Oh, hey, I spoke too soon. There he is, Omega's on the offense back here with a nice little drop kick to the face. Uh, as you can see, I don't know, modern rings have been like this, you know. Normally it's the full packaging, but I guess it's the cost cutting measure, which, you know, it doesn't really matter because it's a hard plastic, but it's not fully sealed is what it is. Let's uh, give it a little, whoa, a lot of stickers. <laughs> a lot of stickers, folks. Okay. No, no directions there, but we have all the directions here. Okay, so this is, uh, this is really cool to me because uh, any modern collector knows that every Mattel ring that's a basic ring like this has had a spring. This is just a solid piece similar to like a Hasbro ring or like a Galoob ring, um, which I dig because as an adult collector, you don't need that spring and I don't, I'm sure little kids do have fun playing with the spring or whatever, but if you're an adult collector like most of us are, uh, you know, or are as well as kids, when you display things in here, they're, they're still and it's a lot easier. It's easy for figure photography. It's easy for your displays at home, whatever. They're not gonna move with the spring. There's that give, it's kind of annoying. So I'm pumped about that. I kind of wish Mattel would just put out a very basic ring like this that would uh, hold figures easily. And here we go. Inside here, we have the ropes. Black poles and black ropes, black buckles. All very basic. Oh, cameraman, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. And here's our directions and sticker sheets. Okay. Another interesting aspect, I think we're gonna compare it to the other, oh, that's what I was looking for. Four sides, unlike the two we've been used to from another company I'll stop mentioning in this video. So that's cool, that's, I'll take that as a bonus right off the bat. And we have the 
buckle covers and the main canvas sticker and the directions on how to do all of that. I guess I build this and we put the video in fast forward in three, two, one, okay. All right, folks, there you have it. The first ever ring built in a wrestling ring. Uh, really nice quality stuff. I got some guys in here so you can get some little concussion for Trent. Uh, so you can get some idea of the scale. The ring, the belt, series one unrivaled, the exclusive little bit of the bubbly, all available at ringside, collectibleswrestlingfigures.com. And save yourself 10% at checkout and use code MAJOR to do that. All right, folks? You, uh, you marked playing with toys again. Oh, there's a camera. Hi, I am Maxwell Jacob Friedman, your candidate for AEW World Champion. And this is... What name are you going by now, buddy? It's hard to keep track. Max, I've known you for years now. Got it. Ooh. Oh, wow. Huh. Well, I'm gonna take this and uh, tell Scott, uh, what was, what's your boss's name? Scott DeMore. Scott, yeah, yeah, yeah. T tell him I said hi, okay? Really? I'm just kidding. Yeah, tell that fat to lose my number. This belt looks great! Well, that's a shame. I really like TK. Who would break that kid into the business anyway?